Welcome to our channel my dear students today we are going to talk about the woods reaction fitic reaction and woods fitic reaction in halo alkane and arene chapter in which the first thing is the woods reaction what is woods reaction usually alkyl halides alkyl halides if i am taking chcl these alkyl halides can be converted into higher alkanes suppose if i am taking ch3 cl i'll be getting converted into higher alkane higher numbers in presence of dry ether with metallic sodium so i'll be getting a product like this let's see ch3 cl which will be reacting with 2 na metallic sodium along with cl and ch3 so how i'll get the product this will be getting eliminated like this 2 nacl will be eliminated by the way i'll be getting here in presence of sodium metal that is a metallic sodium that i used here and here i had to use dry ether okay are you able to understand here i'll be getting a product ch3 ch3 along with 2 nacl okay this is uh, nothing but a woods reaction so it is entirely for alkyl halides which reaction entirely for alkyl halides into higher alkanes here i have to use the reactant as alkyl halides and fitic reaction here the reaction is entirely for aryl halides aryl halide the reactants are aryl halides how i can use this so here also the same thing here also the higher higher number of arenes i will be getting so here instead of that alkyl halide i will be taking aryl halide chlorobenzene in which it will be reacting with metal that is metallic sodium i will be getting another chlorobenzene molecule so what i will be getting so here the product will be eliminated as like this and i'll be getting in presence of a dry ether this reaction will be happen like this so here with the elimination of uh, 2 nacl it will be getting formed the product like this that is called either biphenyl or maybe called as a diphenyl with nacl okay so if it is entirely for aryl halides that is called fitic reaction and third category what is that woods fitic reaction that is woods reaction is entirely for alkyl halides and fitic reaction is entirely for aryl halides and what about the woods fitic reaction so the mixture of alkyl and aryl halides so here the mixture of alkyl plus aryl halides okay so that will be combined to form alkylated product of arenes so i'll be getting like this so here if i'm using ch3cl for woods reaction reagent one of the reagent is alkyl halide that we seen the earlier so alkyl halide which will be reacting with metallic sodium with chlorobenzene because it's a aryl halide okay so both alkyl halide and aryl halide which will be reacting with sodium dry in presence of a dry ether as a solvent here also i have to use a dry ether as a solvent okay and what i'll be getting the product here also the same thing that is here i'll be getting a product like toluene along with 2 nacl are you able to understand student here the one thing is should be noted very clearly that is in all the cases the solvent used here is dry ether here also dry ether here also dry ether why i had to use a dry ether as a solvent because the one of the product formed here is nacl here also nacl and one of the product nacl in all the case okay these formed nacl are insoluble insoluble in ether that is what the backward reaction will not be taken place here that is what we need to avoid the backward reaction if nacl and uh, this 12 in will react to form this uh, to give a reactant again that is what we have to avoid that kind of reaction backward reaction so that we have to use dry ether as a solvent in this solvent the nacl is getting insoluble so it is getting precipitated out that is what it will not be available to react with this to revert back the reaction that is what we used a dry ether as a solvent here are you able to understand student thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel 
Thank you so much. Once again, thank you.